Alright. Shalom. First of all, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rahab, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, who were well, Shinya Kabai, La Shalai, Yach Yim Nawa, was a Kwan Yim Nawa, Shalai Yasha Allah. Shinya meaning double, Kabai is honor, La is two, Shalai Yach Yim Nawa is our apostles, was a Kwan Yim Nawa is our elders of Great Millstone, God Walla Rakub. Of course, uh, we want to give uh, peace and salutations to the elect of Israel. Shalom wa chasad, peace and mercy to the elect. Habachayarium shal yashala of Israel consists of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, but the elect of the elect, the chosen of the chosen being the 144,000 prophets, the head of the elect of the governing body, future governing body, and of course, the rest of the one third, which are men, women, and children, which will believe in the words which the prophets will speak to, of course, them on the behalf of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and will receive salvation. Of course, <clears throat> we are the brothers of Great Millstone Playing Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia, which this is going to be a lesson that has current event in the city of Philadelphia, okay? We're the brothers from Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp located in Philly. I'm the brother of Mafa, and this is here. Yes, I am. And we're, we're just going to cover this wee story because the Akim had a <clears throat> on the WhatsApp. We have a group which we share articles, and this is a current event which the Ak is going to read the article, and we'll just go in the spirit. It says, uh, several police officers shot with gunmen active in Philadelphia. So you have several p police officers are shot with gunmen active in Philadelphia. Reading down, and I mean, look, that's that's Philadelphia for you. Uh, just yellow tape and weeds and urban blight. That's uh, Philadelphia for you. But <clears throat> that's the image they chose. <laughs> this city is trash. Okay. Says at least six officers have been shot after gunmen opened fire at law enforcement in Philadelphia. Right. Look, you have six officers shot after a gunman opened fire. So these, these Jake, they don't care about you, damn. Uh, you got all of these men, men in blue, okay? Um, of course, supposed to serve and protect. These Jake are just shooting out on you, you know, because they disregard the law, which this is normal, okay? Especially being in Philadelphia. It was deemed as Philadelphia in the past, okay? Let's go on. It says one <laughs> suspect is barricaded in one of the houses and continues shooting, and another has reportedly been taken into custody. It says the incident began unfolding at 4.30 p.m. local time in Nice Town, Tioga section of the city when police responded to a call related to narcotics activity, according to Philadelphia police captain Sekou Kinibru. Right, so you got, you know, they, they going to... You know, deal with, of course, anything dealing with narcotics, dealing with, of course, drugs. And you got this dude ringing out shots <laughs> from his house, and he ain't coming out. He busting shots. These officers are getting shot, too. Right now, as it's saying, the Akko read, uh, their current condition is... It says, uh, one of the officers suffered a gunshot wound to his head, but remains <laughs> conscious. Two other officers suffered arm injuries all have been taken to hospital and are expected to, sur to survive their injuries. Right, so this boy got shot in the head, but he's still alive now. I mean, I, I don't want to get shot in my head. <laughs> yeah, like, take me out. It's like, yeah, it's yeah. going to be, it's gonna be rough times ahead. Right. Yeah, dudes get shot in the head and they talking about, yeah, he just critical condition. And that's serious. Yeah, I mean, like, you're acting like it's like a graze or something like that, man. Like, this this isn't this this is life threatening injury. You get shot in the head. Come on, man. You know if how about Shemuel shot have it where this dude just stay alive, but he could be alive in a in a, a paraplegic um chair. Get that that um precept about um if evil done in the city, the Lord. Cause this is all the Lord controlling all these things that's going on right now. <clears throat> you have to understand that we're at the end days, and all this. Wickedness 
and killings, haragim, this is killings in Hebrew, is going to happen and more at a rapid rate here in the cities, especially in Great Babylon, and also the towns and countries across the world, all the continents as well. Okay, where there's masses of people. Amos 3 could do that one. Okay. This, uh, so, uh, this is Amos chapter 3 verse 6 it says shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid shall there be evil in a city and Yahweh hath not done it right so look at that word for done let's see if it's Aisha well <clears throat> done Aisha yep yep so it's gonna say but like accomplish right to do accomplish make produce so the Lord producing movie, his movie, and a part of his movie to, of course, sh have these various events such as shootings, cops being shot, <clears throat> Jake being shot, victims, uh, of course, of course happen. You be a victim. That's the Lord controlling that. Get the issues of death. What's that, Psalms? Belongeth. What's that, 60? I'm not sure. <coughs> Psalm, Psalm chapter 68 Verse 20 Says he that is our power Is the power of salvation And unto the most high Yahweh belong the issues from death Right so look at that issues I want to see what that one is Kawataza Awa That's a long Hebrew word <laughs> Says the source of life Look at that Look at that Extremities The source of life You know The Lord controlled us Obviously the source of life Because he's the breath He gave to put the breath in man You know So <clears throat> It's a uh, Also escape from death So you know If you of course Were to Get in a shoot up And you get like A gun drive by And these niggas shooting And then you get Apparently You escape Unscathed the Lord made it where you you wasn't your time to get shot. He let he gave you that escape, you know. Which the Lord is gonna control our us being of the hopefully let our um outcome being if we are to be either Mars for the ha ma for the for the truth or <clears throat> um yeah if we are to be Mars or for us to just endure until His second coming and get delivered by the way of chariot. Okay, so that's all controlled by the Lord. He has his angels that control, of course, um, certain things in the, in the earth, letting grow certain um, different calamities, which were, uh, you can get that revelation, uh, saying, hurt not the earth until my elect be sealed. Get that real quick, Baba Kasha. <clears throat> the Lord controls all of these things, which we are only at the beginning of sorrows. Currently, um, let's see, it might be like Revelation 7, let me see, or 5, let me see. <clears throat> Hurt not the earth, that's what you put that in, you got it? Yeah. Alright, what is it, 5, 7, yeah, 7, kind of my favorite. This is, uh... On. This is Revelation chapter 7 verse 2 It says and I saw another angel Ascending from the east having the seal Of the living power and he cried With a loud voice to the four angels To whom it was given to hurt the earth And the sea Right so you got angels Mala, Mala Aka I believe that is angels In the Hebrew Yum all right, Mala Aka Yum In Hebrew uh, which is angels which they're messengers Okay they're servants of the Lord Okay, you got four angels that have what? Power to <clears throat> they say saying not to hurt the earth. What well, did you read that part? Or no, Slocky, read Slocky. This is uh verse three, it says, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Right. So you have it where you have certain angels that have that designated position job to 
not to let grow this destruction, the nuclear destruction and such that that's destroying wind until the elect be sealed. It's because everything has a time and a season. Get that real quick in Ecclesiastes, or yeah, Steve's and the Bible 3. <clears throat> everything has a time and a season. Everything happened at its appointed time when you most high you how about I set it up. So if it's in the time of what we in right now, which is um killing time. It's killing time is time for life of the uh the uh, Israelites. Okay? <clears throat> All this stuff is sanctioned by the Lord, okay? Read. This is um Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 says to everything there is a, se a season and a time to every purpose under heaven mm -hmm. a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted a time to kill and a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build up right so there's a time I believe that time is ice in Hebrew La. let me see go to the message door yeah click it under your linear ice See it at the top right there, Ith, La, Ith, yep, Ith, which is time, event. Hey, look, experience and fortunes, all right? Even dreadful events, that's all going to be, that's all determined by the Lord, okay? Remember, uh, terrorists, um, you know, in the black, these times, the, uh, the Lord is going to unleash all different sorts of terrorists, all right? You got another precept to that, too? Huh. It's like, yeah, it's a couple precepts. <clears throat> A lot. I can't find it. Um, when we first said this. What it go like? Seasons? It's something. It goes like, um, yeah. It's it's about how like you know the Most High is a certain time and a purpose for everything. He does it like move it. I know it's in. I think it's in Ezra. So I don't know if it's first or second. You want my apocrypha? You want it? No. Nah, yeah, uh, uh, all right, kind of, So I can. Yeah, we gonna um, the Lord willing, get this uh, particular precept. I'm gonna put on. Hold on. So I give me one. Let me get a, a water real quick. We got um, as I was saying, as the Ak go do this real quick, he gonna find the precept for Yahweh Um, let me see, let me get that actual. Yeah, he has uh, ice time la. You got ha harag right, which is a time la means two, and harag is kill. All right, wa ice, which is uh in time la. Rapa or Rapawa, which um that's heal. Oh, so going back to Rapa, all right, which means to heal. You got ice, which is a time. La Rapawataza, all right, which uh that go to break down. Going from Rataza, you got that precept. All right, slot kid. So, you know, just going to kill some time so that Akim can get the precept. You know, just going into Hebrew. All right, slot kid. I'm going to bring up <clears throat> the precept, slot kid. This is um Second Ezra chapter 4, verse 37. It says, By measure hath he measured the times, and by number hath he numbered the times, and he do, he doth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. Kind of like the aqua's going into. There's a time and a season for everything. Like we're seeing, you know, the world basically on the brink of destruction, but it's not completely being destroyed because there's a time and a season for everything. The Most High has purpose a specific time when the end will come, but it's not just yet. But we see it 
on the brink of destruction. Like everywhere, every time you turn on the news, there's protests going on, you know, in every single country. You know, there's mass shootings going on, you know, every other week. You know, <laughs> it's basically every other day now. <laughs> right in the city. <laughs> he said... I can say he's like yeah, like the I can be. He's like yo, man, it's a shooting in Philly. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> you know. So, like, like it's, you know, like you see, like for the most part, like a lot of these different things be happening in Europe and such. Like you got in Hong Kong over there, you got like this crazy pro sect. But these these things are biblical prophecies being fulfilled. For these people, it's uproars of people and all of that and such. You know, and we seeing these shootings and stuff, man. This it's really the climate. The climax of uh, Yahweh is coming. Uh, this mass destruction, I mean, it's being set right now, man. It's being set, the, si the scenes, that is. All right. Um, yo, get this precept, Slocky. Um, Sarat 39 and 16, real quick. Abu Kasha. <clears throat> This is um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 verse 16 it says all the works of Yahweh are exceeding good and whatsoever he commandeth shall be accomplished in due season. Right. So, you know, going back full circle, you know, this stuff is good. You know, all the works of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, you know, because the Lord, he fashioned these things that are occurring to happen. OK, so it is good. <clears throat> they bring forth his uh, judgment. I can say this Like a certain people They'll see the, You know the state That the world is in And they'll feel You know bad about it You, you That's just showing you You're not in the right spirit You should feel good About all that's happening it's Like oh the world's Going to hell In a handbasket You know they'll feel You know You know genuinely Depressed about all the All the madness That's going on That's just showing you Not in the right spirit You're yeah. not in the spirit Of y'all Yeah you have people that I mean I always go Across with bringing up You know geopolitics To these people World events. Oh, I don't watch news. It's too depression. I don't want to hear that, man. Lord, I mean, like, if you that literally make you ignorant of what's gonna come, you know, if you're not watching the news, you know, especially all y'all watching is uh local news. Y'all not even watching the worldwide news, and y'all be watching these news which on CNN. Y'all even watching alternative media. Y'all really gonna be lost, you know. So it's good that, of course. If I can say this real quick, like a lot of these people, they think if they ignore the news, somehow it's not going to affect go them. Yeah, it's going to go away. It's not going to come to their front door, which is, you know, the most ridiculous thing ever, you know? Yeah, it's, it's absolutely crazy, man. You think it's, you just going to close your eyes and it's just going to be gone away. Yeah, like children, when, like let's say a monster comes, they're going to close their eyes, the monster going to disappear, <laughs> you know, the monster not going to be there no more. Yeah, just put, put, put your head, uh, put the pillow over your head. Yeah. And close your eyes and uh and, and close your ears and it'll it'll go past. Now this the Lord bringing forth a show of destruction on y'all. All right, so um, all right, uh, where was we at now? Back to the article. It says in a separate incident, a seventh police officer was injured in a traffic accident when rushing to the scene. A pedestrian was <laughs> a pedestrian was injured in the collision as well. Wait, so look, you got this other incident that's happened. It said a police officer was injured rushing to the scene, and somebody got ran over too. Basically, you know. So the you know you got and that's this whole separate incident. But you know, it's all in one day. The Lord sanctioning all these things to happen. You know, as um, you no, know, ain't nothing. What is it? Ain't, unless the we say. The Lord, of course, belonging to issues from death, and you know, like I believe in the scripture, it says like a sparrow doesn't fall without the Lord basically sanctioning it and stuff, you know. So these things are the Lord controlling, okay. Y'all think it's gonna go away? It's just gonna turn up. This is a Proverbs chapter 28, verse 5. It says, Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek Yahweh understand all things. Yeah. You know, because the Lord gave us this understanding through giving us this Bible, the precepts, which we get the understanding. We end up learning that the Lord is doing these things. He's bringing forth these judgments. He, he's, uh, you know, um, visiting the earth, okay, that he made. Yeah, like, 
You'll ask these Christians like, well, why are all these bad things happening? They'll give you some some lame, yeah. Either they, they'll say they don't know, they give you some right. some lame ass reason, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, God. <laughs> but the men of the servants of Yahweh Shimei Asai, man, we understand why all this stuff is happening, man. Right. We can give you the true true reason through the scriptures, not through our vain opinion. Yeah. You know, they won't pull out any precepts telling you why it's happening. They'll just go off their vain opinion. Mm -hmm. That's right. Let me read this real quick. Uh, Shrap forty. Nine. This is um Ecclesiasticus chapter forty verse nine it says death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. Yeah, so all these calamities, all these different, you know, chaotic things are coming for, for the wicked, you know. The Most High created all this this turmoil, this chaos, these mass shootings, you know. You know, head-on collision, you know, whatever, you know, whatever kind of situation where these people getting caught up in. The Most High created it for the wicked. And it says, for their sakes came the flood. And, and this the nuclear fire is coming for their sakes the same way the flood came for their sakes. Ecclesiastes 37, 18. This is, is it 18? Yeah. Con, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 37, verse 18. It says, Four manner of things appear, good and evil, life and death, but the tongue ruleth over them continually. Mm. So, but well, four matter does a thing appear. So, it's either going to be for good and evil, Right, because the Lord does righteous de balance, okay? Good and evil. Or life or death, Chayawa, Mawath. All right? So, this things, you know, look, the Lord is showing you how he worked, man. You know? Things appear either for good or evil or for life or death, okay? That's how Yahweh Shemiah Shai gets down. Perfect balance, you know? Perfect judgment. So, we see uh, dudes getting, um, you know, people getting shot, people getting shot in the arm, all this other stuff. You know, you got good and evil happening to that, okay? Life and death is happening to that. You know, maybe a Jake uh, be like, oh, shoot, man, I better, yo, I better repent, man. I just got shot, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, the <laughs> Lord, the fear of the Lord, do we persuade men and such, you know? So, yeah. Um,. <clears throat> These these terrors and stuff is just gonna keep uh keep keep continue to ramp up, you know. So give me this precept, this rock. I mean, uh, clear, uh, second edges fourteen and thirteen. <clears throat> it also, yeah, yeah. Start there and go down to um seventeen. Okay. This is um second Ezra chapter fourteen verse thirteen it says now therefore set thine house in order. And reprove thy people, comfort such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. Right. You know, so you got, of course, the prophets. You know, we, of course, are <clears throat> not only setting our own houses individually in order, but we're also reproving our people, okay? Rebuking them, you know, out there on the highways and hedges and tell them, look, listen, uh, you better you better get right, or you're going to you get right with the right power, which is Yahweh Shem El Shire, you're going to get destroyed. And they're gonna catch you in this uh these mass shootings, get catch you caught up there in a a mall, you know, and some crazy calamity happened, explosion, gas explosions, all type of stuff be happening over here. Um <clears throat> you know, so we set in our house, which is the, all the twelve tribes in order. All right, proving our people and comfort them that be in trouble. Who's in who's who's who need comfort? Who need a comfort in? That's the twelve tribes of Israel. We're the ones that what, um, Get that the the the, the, the king uh, suffered violence. Uh, uh, what was it? Um, you know, you know what I'm talking about suffering violence. Okay, okay. Um, fuck, man, it's I'm talking about the Romans with the Indians. Um, all you gotta put you put in words, but you can find yeah. I gonna get this preset real quick, <clears throat> just to uh, cause we remember a lot of this stuff that's occurring. Yep, yep, yeah. 
because of particular people that's bringing forth a lot of this uh, different things that are happening. A lot of people are vexed. A lot of people are in these uh, confused, especially our people in a confused state. When they, um, like you said, this dude's narcotics. They going to they they going to a, respond to a narcotics um, uh, narcotics uh, call. All right. Our people who taught who brought in the drugs and who taught these dudes to trap. <laughs> it's Esau. Esau teaching me, Jake. Like, look, I gotta get it how I live, and, and I can't make it on a McDonald's salary. Jake, like, look, I need this money, so I'm gonna just trap. And Jake, wicked, you know, because they they selling these drugs and they destroying their own communities, destroying <laughs> themselves and. <laughs> And at the same time, Esau's so wicked, he's destroying his own people because these people get hooked to the opioids. That's the new thing right now. All right, so here, this precept. Um, this is uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 12. It says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. Right, and this referring to the Edomites. The, they're the violent, the Edomites, which um, you have it. We are still in captivity under the uh, Romans, which the Romans, these were Edomites, okay, that were ruling, okay? The, uh, the, the, um, you have it. How was I walk during the time of the Roman Empire 2,000 years ago? And we are in the, <clears throat> like I said, the second, the second, basically the rebirth of the uh, Roman Empire, all right? And under that, uh, that whole this whole captivity were under the Edomites, okay? Because remember, Esau is what the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, okay? So the Edomites are ruling. The earth is giving hand to wicked. So we suffer in violence, okay? So who the violent? These damn Edomites, okay? If you don't know who Esau Edom is, watch our old videos because we ain't want to get flagged. All right, go on. Um, was it back to the other preset? Back there, yeah. I'm going to read 17. Mm -hmm. This is Ecclesiastes. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 14, verse 17. Mm -hmm. It says, For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon the upon them that dwell therein. Right. So, you know, as time, of course, progress, obviously the world been weaker. You got a world due to age. You have, it, of course, during uh, this Edomite ruling. Who was the same spirit that was in Cain? The earth not real in this fruit. It's being destroyed. You got chemtrails all over the air. You got all this wicked doctrine being perpetuated throughout all of uh, the world. And all other nations are drunk. You had off of this philosophy following it. You have it that um, the earth has been um, neglected due to. The Edomites not giving it a rest, not even regarding the different things they create and which pollute the earth. Okay, so the earth is weak, all right? It's mourning, you know? That's why the Lord say, hurt them that hurt the earth, earthly paraphrasing. You know, the, the difference, man, we ready to get out of here, man. It says, so much the more evils, which is bad times, increase upon them that they're all therein. People dwell in the earth, okay? So, because the earth getting weak, of course, these people going to, of course, continue to wax worse and worse and worse, okay, doing with a dumb devil ruling over you, okay, but these people just like, fuck it, man, I'm going to bang out, you know, I'm going to shoot out, with, uh, you got, dude, they got a whole fucking Wild West going on in Philly, you know, you got <laughs> motherfucking shootouts with cops and fucking niggas and shit, you know, <laughs> just telling you flat, that's how it is, if y'all don't like the rude speech, then turn the video the fuck off. I'm just gonna give we just gonna get it raw now. Alright? Cause we ain't gonna be on here that long. The Lord got us away. Like I said, we see how this 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 these prophecies kicking off and we about to be the fuck out of here, man. We wake up one day, it's a fucking fucking whole whole changing climate out here, you know, due to some crazy event that was orchestrated by these damn devils who work at uh evil upon their bed. Alright? And they acting like they don't see. We see them. The Lord sees them. The Lord got the angels showing up, showing, showing signs in the heavens and affirming of the of the existence that they they seeing this stuff happening. So we about to be out of here. All right. <clears throat> um. And that's basically it. You know, we we pretty much covered the article. Uh, again, read the uh, headline again. 
You know, and I'm pretty sure it's going to escalate to be worse than what y'all think it is right now. It says uh, several police officers shot with gunmen active in Philadelphia. Yeah, he's still active until they take him out. Because you, know, you know how Jake is. Jake Jake ain't going to go out without a fight. You know, he's going to come out crying. You know, he, his mom. <laughs> you know how Jake is. Jake, Jake, Jake used to. Uh, Jake don't got no order, man, so. I can tell you in the scriptures, man. Um, they say keep the far in Sirach and uh, Sirach nine and uh, and uh, thirteen says keep keep the far from a man that has the power to kill. Jake Jacob bring these 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 cops to to their dough from doing this wicked activity such as selling drugs. You literally inviting cops to come by you. You know they casing you. You know they watching your trap. Until it come to a level of iniquity And these motherfuckers is like Yo let me run through and Now you wanna shoot out You wanna go out with a bang It says So shalt thou not doubt the fear of death And if thou come unto him Me and the damn devil You saw Edom Make not fa- make no fault Least he take away thy wife presently Cause he gonna blow your ass away If he don't make that right move You ain't <laughs> You already took out these cops, so you uh, aggravated them. So, you know, you know they're gonna blow you. I'm pretty sure this dude he gonna blow his own brains out, or he gonna blow, he gonna get blown away, or he gonna get destroyed in the um <laughs> in the fucking precinct. You know, they're gonna make an example out of this nigga. And look, you know, like have we had times in the past when this stuff happened with these officers being shot? It starts to trend. You know. Where I remember they had that one summer, it was just like murder. It was like crazy, kill Adele, you know. So, um, I'm gonna finish reading off. It says, "Remember that 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 thou goest in the midst of snares, which is traps." Okay, you gotta understand that, you know. And you know the devil is a damn. He he actually set set you up, you know. It says, "And that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city." All right, so that's basically it with the this, uh, the the lesson. You know, just look out for more of this, this these deaths and calamities to keep going. You know, and just stay out of the way. I can you know watch your steps. You know, pray that the Lord keep you. Um, <clears throat> have you you know the angels of course uh got you know keep keep you in the uh, right way. All right, you know, guiding you all right. You know, nachar uh, or nacha, I believe. Slaki, I gotta go back into it. God in Hebrew. With that, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakhak, Kadashim, Double Honor, Shadows, and Pastor, that great millstone. Hopefully, you edify and stay up. Shalom. Shalom.